today's collectible spot, we are having a look at Connects. Building worlds kids love, the new Family Guy minifigures. We're having a look at the two-pack featuring Peter Griffin and Chris. A new property that Connects has now acquired. So thrilled to see that they're now producing Family Guy pieces. Now, along with the building sets that we're going to be having a look at in a series of videos as well, they are also producing two-pack figures. This particular two-pack figures features Peter Griffin and Chris, but there are other figures to choose from. Uh, recommended for ages 8 and up. There's a picture down below of Stewie Griffin. On the back of the package, though, showing you the two figures including the set. The other two packs are Brian and Meg, and Stewie and Lois collect them all. As for the building sets, there is a Peter and Station Wagon set, as well as Stewie and Time Machine. All of which I find extremely cool. So glad, again, that they were able to acquire the Family Guy property. To follow along more what Connex is doing, you can go to connects.com, or you can also follow them over at facebook.com forward slash build connects. Having said that, Spot's going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. When we come back, we are going to get a better look at Peter and Chris. There's more on your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Just before we have a look at the two figurines, you also do get yourself a pamphlet inside. Spot loves pamphlets. On the front, there's Peter and Chris. And down below, Stewie. Again, there's a QR code as well. Hey, QR code. If you want to follow along, you can scan that with your phone. On the back, shows you how to put together the two figures. Only contains, uh, only consists really of three parts: a, ha a head, a torso, and lower legs. And then, of course, the figurines also available at the top there. And we'll just fold this up, move this aside, and let's have a look at the figurines. Let's start with Peter Griffin. Spot says Peter Griffin, but I mean, really, it's Chris Griffin as well. I just always say Peter Griffin. I'm gonna put Chris right there for a second. Um, as it goes for mini figures, little small mini figurines, they're really neat. Uh, Peter, obviously, very bulbous, very rotund. Is that a good word we want to be using? Very portly. He's a portly fellow. But I would say everything that you like about Peter Griffin in the cartoon, thinks, I think, really turned out well in the mini figures. Of course, they are consisting of components, so of the head obviously will be removed. The lower legs also can be removed. Um, articulation, though. Peter's head does rotate left and right. His arms rotate all the way around. All the way around, there we go. And a rotation in the wrist. He also has, also has a swivel in the legs, or really in the waist section. And then his legs go forward and back. He does have peg holes on the undersides of his feet, so you can peg him into other building sets that you're going to see in the Family Guide lineup. Liking this, though, I think it's good. I think, I again, I have no issues with the likeness whatsoever. His glasses are there, and his little chin, little chinny chin chin is there as well. Again, as it stands, for a smaller Family Guy figurine, this is really neat. Moving him aside, let's have a look at Chris. Chris, I would say roughly, uh, they're about the same figurine. In fact, it looks like, aside from the legs being shorter on Chris, it looks like they use the same upper torso. Makes sense. Chris is, a, again, a probably takes after his father for that category of his, uh, his looks, the rounder category. Uh, but, you know, he does, he looks really neat. He's got his little hat on, and I wonder if they're ever going to produce, because the hat does not remove, it's just all one piece. But I wonder if they're ever going to reduce or produce additional pieces. Maybe Chris without his hat. Um, ooh, a little evil monkey. Certainly the sky's the limit. And uh, I'm hoping that Kinex is as faithful to the Family Guy property as they have been with the Nintendo property. We've gotten a lot of Mario characters, and I'm loving it so much. I hope we're going to get the same treatment with the Family Guy figures. Uh, articulation would be the same. His head rotates back and forth. He could rotate all the way around. I would not advise it. That would kill poor Chris. His hands do rotate all the way around. Rotation in the wrists, waist, and little legs. Also, his sneakers are nicely drawn in there as well. Indeed. Loving these quite a bit. 
Um, as it currently stands, as this line is currently lined up, uh, what we have lined up is the uh, the Peter, the Chris, the uh, Meg and Brian, and Peter and uh, Stewie and Lois. Of course, there are the two building sets, the station wagon and the time machine. But again, I'm really hoping that they're going to branch off this line and we're going to get a lot of the characters that we love so much about Family Guy in this figure form. A quagmire, an evil monkey, if you will, perhaps even Mayor Adam West, perhaps even the evil chicken. Certainly the sky's the limit. I'm loving, though, the way that these are turning out. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the new Kinex uh, building figures, the figurines here. We're having a look today at Peter Griffin and Chris. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have the reviews of the other two figure sets coming your way as well. We're going to be having a look at the building sets as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.